If the graph is given, anyone can use breadth first search algorithms to traverse it. This is easy. That's why I will use breadth first search algorithms to traverse the internet. Every website is a node. Just one problem we don't have a graph. But all websites have links that point to other websites. So I will use web scraping to find new website URLs to create a graph, then traverse it. Then again scrape it, add new nodes in the graph, then traverse it. And I will do it simultaneously. Something like this. Visit a website. Scrape all links in it. Add them to the queue. And repeat this for all links. This is how breadth first search algorithm works. So this will be a never-ending process. This is similar to crawler or spider bots. This is my prompt. It's basically a pseudo code for what I want to do. Let's give this prompt to ChatGPT. And now ChatGPT is writing code and it will be ready in a few seconds. And our code is ready. Now it will be a heavy task since I want to visit more than 50,000 websites. So I will use Google Collab Platform and it's free, fast and 12 gigabytes RAM and let you run Python code like Jupyter Notebook. Now copy and paste our Python code for BFS search. Let's execute this code. It's asking for an entry point. I'm gonna use python.org. Then press enter. And our traversal begins. On the left side it shows how many websites we visited. And then it shows URL of the current website. This is a slow process compared to what we do in competitive programming or on LeetCode. Because there, we have given a graph which is nothing but some location on computer memory. So we can visit 1000 nodes in just a second. Here, we are finding new nodes, with web scraping, and it takes a few seconds for each website. I will let it run until we cross 50,000 website visits. In case you didn't know, this is how web crawlers or spider bots work. Maybe in the next video, we will build our crawler, just like Google Spider Bot or Bing Bot that collect website URLs and store them into a database. Let me fast forward the video. Finally we visited 50,000 websites or so-called nodes, and it took 2 hours. Try to run depth first search on your own. It will be fun. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.